when I started to study backable people, I started to notice patterns here as well. And one of the patterns I started to notice is that they would steer into the objections of their own idea. They would steer directly into the objections of their own idea. How? Well, let me tell you a story about a guy named Reid Hoffman. Reid Hoffman is the founder of LinkedIn. And he started LinkedIn in 2003. Not a great year to start an internet company. Right? The bubble had just burst, and so he was trying to figure out how to raise money, but investors kept saying, no, you're not making any money right now, and we're only going to invest in companies that are actually generating revenue. And so he kept walking into these meetings and get re getting rejected. Finally, he decided to shift his approach. Instead of hiding behind the idea that he wasn't making money, he brought it to the front and center. So literally, at the beginning of each meeting, he would say, listen, just so you know, we're not making any money right now. But in this presentation, I will be sharing three ways, three specific ways that I think we can be generating revenue down the line. Now, what do you think happened? They tuned in to his presentation. They tuned in to the rest of his presentation because they knew that that part was coming. And that tends to be human nature. When we have an objection to an idea, an objection to a candidate for a job, an objection to a pitch, an objection to a presentation, that thing will continue to nag at us until it's addressed. So if you can steer into the objection first, what that does is it frees up the mental space for your audience to tune into the other parts of your pitch. Right, there was a Nobel Prize winning economist na named Daniel Kahneman who came up with a theory called loss aversion. And loss aversion basically tells us that the pain that we get from making a bad decision is twice as powerful, twice as the pleasure that we get from making a good decision. The pain is twice as powerful as the pleasure. So when we're walking into a room and we're trying to convince anybody of anything, we can't just talk about the positives. We have to neutralize the negatives. And steering into objections is one way to do that. But the other thing that happened that was interesting is this. As soon as you start to steer into objections, you start to turn critics into collaborators. You turn critics into collaborators. People start to actually think of, well, here are some other ways that you can actually solve that problem. It's a really interesting dynamic in what happens when you walk into the room and you steer into the objections of your own idea. 